Tonight we continue our special three-part report, Rising from the Rubble, Holt's story of recovery and rebuilding. Last night we showed you how the community of Holt reacted to the initial aftermath of the tornado. But as WVUA's Matt McCoy shows us, rebuilding in a community with no infrastructure was a task that the Iron Men were ready for. There's a number of things that we're working toward to assist the redevelopment in Holt. Uh, and and it's, it's, it's long term. In a community that's only three square miles, a 1.7 mile wide tornado can do a lot. We continue to try and work with property owners and work with the community and trying to get uh, the community rebuilt. But as community members dig through the rubble, they quickly realized the rebuilding would have to be done by the same group of people that had just lost everything themselves. That's where the Holt in Action Group came in, creating a plan to bring their community back stronger than ever. Holt, there's no mistaking that it was not a well-kept community. It was, there are so many individuals who are proud of where they're at and, and had a vision for where they wanted it to be. And a big part of the vision the community members had was a place to build upon the relationships that were formed after the tornado. This is the opportunity for everyone to get their homes back and to be proud of it again. To want to raise your kids here and want to be able to see them playing baseball out in the yard. And really just everyone come together again. Once they're together again, community members say that's when the work continues on making the community of Holt into the city of Holt. To actually make their rules, make regulations to try to get the areas and neighborhoods cleaned up to give their kids a safe place to go play. You have the positives and you have the negatives. The grassroots is here and that, you know, we, we, can, we can form our own destiny. We can control our own destiny. We can, you know, gain a voice and make things happen. But then we don't have necessarily infrastructure to make that happen. So we have to lean on others to help us to get it done. Now, tomorrow night, we'll show you how community members say they are feeling about the rebuilding efforts and where they see Holt 10 years from now.